Growing up in the Philippines, I would help my mom cook Filipino food. Later on, when I became vegan, I learned that Filipino food can still be vegan without losing its soul. I wanted to share this discovery with family, friends, and with you. Kain na! Let's eat! Laing is a rich, creamy, savory, and spicy Filipino dish that is mainly made with taro leaves and coconut milk. This pairing of taro leaves and coconut milk makes this dish easily veganizable. In fact, my aunties would always make this for me whenever I visit them in the Philippines. They have veganized this for me, and I'm looking forward to veganize this dish for you. For the ingredients, we'll need two tablespoons solid coconut oil, three cloves of garlic peeled, crushed, and minced, one yellow onion peeled and chopped, two to three tablespoons of peeled julienne ginger, two to three pieces of Thai chili pepper sliced. You may add more if you want more kick. You may also use other kinds of pepper like serrano pepper, jalapeno pepper, Anaheim pepper, or even habanero pepper if you're feeling daring. In the Philippines, we use siling labuyo. Two to three tablespoons of black bean garlic sauce. I got the black bean garlic sauce and my other ingredients at my neighborhood vegetarian grocery store called Rainbow Grocery. Two cans of coconut milk, about 13.5 ounces each can. An ounce of dried taro leaves. Make sure it says dried and you can buy dried taro leaves at most Filipino grocery stores or online. I will leave that link for you below. Heat a medium-sized pan or pot, just make sure that it's heavy bottom, and uh, do it under medium heat. Time to add the coconut oil. Then, we'll go ahead and add the aromatics. The garlic, onion, ginger, and the chili pepper. Then we'll add some salt to release the moisture from all these ingredients. Okay, after sauteing about five minutes, let's go ahead and add the black bean garlic sauce. Let's add about two tablespoons for now. You can add more later when you taste. Mix that around. So the seasonings that you could adjust would be the black bean garlic sauce and salt. Then pour the coconut milk. Ooh. In the Philippines, we use a lot of coconut milk in our dishes. After that, of course, the dried taro leaves. See how basically Careful, I am, and then just gently using your ladle, push the leaves down to absorb the coconut milk. There. I'm not moving them around too much, just pushing them down gently. We have a simmering pan here. Now it's very important for you to follow, especially this step right here, which is to not over mix or do not even mix the taro leaves. Let the leaves fully cook and fully thoroughly absorb the coconut milk and its flavor. Uh, it's very important for you to just let it be for 45 minutes to one hour. And I'll show you later when it's ready. But once again, just do not stir the leaves, let it be and just cover it, simmer it for 45 minutes to one hour. If you're worried that the bottom part may burn, you may check the pan maybe about 15, 30 minutes or even 40 minutes into the cooking and just check it and gently stir. I will show you how without disturbing the leaves. Just gently move it around like that so it's not sticking. 
Notice that I'm not tossing them around. I'm not turning anything around. You'll know when it's done when the leaves have fully wilted. The coconut milk is thick. In fact, it's not a soup anymore. It has become more of a cream. I'm gonna try it with a side of white rice. Filipinos love to have Latin with a side of white rice. It's, you just gotta have it with that. Uh, it's too rich if you just have it by itself. Okay, so cannot wait to dig in here. It's the right amount of spice for me. I love it with just, you know, mildly spicy. And also, it's the magic of the dry taro leaves that you cannot find anywhere else in any other dish. The laing is now ready. To make it prettier, we can garnish with chili pepper on top there. Now it looks pretty and don't forget to serve it with a side of white rice or if you're watching your sugar intake, you may use quinoa. There you go. It's Laing is such a favorite among my family members. I hope yours will be too. For the full Latin recipe and other vegan Filipino recipes, just go on astigvegan.com. I'm also on social media, and if you feel free to say hello, or if you have a question, ask away, or tag me if you've made any of the dishes or any of the recipes on the blog. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Archie at Astig Vegan, letting you know that Filipino food can be vegan, healthy, and delicious without losing its soul. Kaina, let's eat!